Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video topic comes from a few of the entrepreneur Facebook groups I'm in, and that's how to identify a font from a website. So you're on a website and you see this font that you absolutely love and you would really like to know what it is. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to figure that out. If you're new here, my name's Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new videos every single week to help you master the tech in your online business so that you can work smarter and grow faster. So if that sounds good to you, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, let's get started. So the way that you're going to do this is with a Google Chrome extension called What Font. So all you need to do is head over to Google and then type in what font Chrome extension. Then you're going to click on the top link and then click add to Chrome and then add extension. And this is going to add it to the top right bar of your Google Chrome. Then to enable it, all you need to do is click the extension. And then all you need to do is go to a website. So I'm going to show you mine, for example. And all you need to do is hover over my text and you can see what fonts I'm using. So for example, this heading here, I'm using Futura PT. So you can see that. And down here, I'm using Europa. So really quick and easy way to identify fonts. Let's try another one. If you head over to Refinery29, I can hover over their headings and see that they are using Playfair Display. So this really comes in handy whenever you're on a website and you see this font that you just absolutely fall in love with. You can figure out what it is. And then all you need to do is type the name of that font into Google and you'll find out whether it is available free for download or whether you need to purchase that font. But the point is, is that you know what that font is. Don't you just love when things are that easy? If you like this video, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.